What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the buildable system. So in today's episode, we'll make that we can destroy the builds that we place if we you know, want to remove them for some reason. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Uh, also, just making sure, because a bug that I discovered is that uh, the first key is mouse wheel up and the second one is mouse wheel down. The thing is that I discovered that I had both of them being down, so it bugged. So make sure to, you know, the first one have it up and second one in down. And with that, it's great. Another thing that we have to do is also clean the preview because we cannot go ahead and use, uh, basically move the mouse. And then to update, we have to exit and go back to the building mode. So what we can do instead is copy our exit build notes, which is this one, where we set the preview mesh to be nothing, and then also just reset the build mode. And basically just paste it where we go ahead and move the mouse, and this will just go ahead and update the preview mesh. So now I press the build, uh, build mode, and now I can go ahead and rotate through the build balls and they will update without needing to go and open up back again the build mode. Great, so with that said, let's go ahead and introduce a key to basically just remove it. So what we're going to do is go into the first person input actions or whatever actions folder you're using. And let's just go ahead and create a new input action. And this will be like IA underscore whatever, right? In this case, let's put just destroy. Okay, it can be more, you know, uh, universal in the future. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna go into my default uh, context and I can just go ahead and just add a new mapping. And in this case, it will be the destroy. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the R key, but you can put whatever you want. Uh, let me save this, close this, go back here, go down, right click, and let's put this to be the destroy. Uh, I hate destroy. There we go. So now in start, what we want to do is do a line trace and so on. So we're going to do the similar thing to what we did with this line trace. So what we want to do is copy all of this nodes. So basically the, uh, you know, the logic for the line trace, where we're starting, where it's ending and the branch and so on. Let's paste this here, put it on started. And then what we can do is make sure that the head actor has a specific tag. In this case, it will be build double, I guess we'd say, build double. Let's copy this, compile, and now let's go into the build master, go into class settings, go into tag, and basically add it in the actor here. Beautiful, there we go. So now all of the child should also have, there we go, they updated with the asterisk. That means that they have now the tag too. I just have to change from one place. That's why the pen is so useful. So now I can praise and put another branch here over here and then go ahead and say just destroy actor and of course in the future you can apply a sound or whatever but with that it should be so now i can just press b choose for example this thing here press r and it will destroy and if i press r to any other thing that is not available it will not work but if i go for example with this over here and just put it there you can press R and destroy. And I just, you know, realized that I use R <laughs> to rotate the build. I'm kind of dumb. Didn't remember that. So let me just quickly go ahead and change it. Uh, but of course, you can, you know, put whatever input key you want. Uh, so let's go ahead and instead of R, add no, for example, uh, H, right? <laughs> whatever key doesn't really matter. But now I can just go, press B, write it a bit. Uh, put this here, press H and it will destroy, but not anything more. Uh, so that's it with this episode. Uh, the profiles will be available in my Patreon and GT members, so check it out. Uh, check out the Virtus FPS course, it's amazing. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.